powder, right? Johnson's and Johnson's, baby powder, baby powder, baby powder. Poison. Complete and total fucking poison. How is it poison? Talcum. Talcum is a, uh, it's a mineral, right? It's a mineral, it's a rock. Something is naturally occurring. So talcum is naturally occurring. Talcum naturally contains asbestos. Wow! A lot of you are like, what? It naturally contains asbestos. So when you turn that talcum into a powder, you're also powdering this asbestos. Now remember, we're no longer allowed to build buildings with asbestos. And if a building is before this law, they have to tell you that there's asbestos in the building. You have to sign a waiver, also for like land and things. You have to sign a waiver saying, I know this building has, you know, built with asbestos. I know you tried to remove all of it, but just in case I get cancer, I'm waiving all of my rights. It's a whole thing. But it's in baby powder. So, the people who produce talcum, like Johnson & Johnson, they say, no, 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 we've removed all the asbestos. It's totally safe. How do you remove the asbestos? How do you remove asbestos that is naturally occurring in talcum 100%? How do you remove oxygen from water? How do you remove carbon dioxide from the oxygen? 100%. It's part of the molecular structure. So now you'll notice all these lawsuits with Johnson and Johnson are paying out millions upon millions of dollars. Women, people are catching and developing cancers, ovarian cancers, reproductive cancers. This is the stuff people are putting on the babies. But if I ask you what the alternative is to Johnson and Johnson baby powder, can you tell me? Is not the same as powder. Mm -hmm. alternative, an alternative powder. An alternative powder. It's hot, it's sweaty, it's summer. You got sweaty balls, what do you put on them? An alternative powder. You got foot sweat, anything? Nobody knows what to do? Of course not. Of course not. No one's ever told you any of this. Right? Some of you look really worried. So you're going to go home today and throw everything out of your bathroom, and that's totally fine. There are organic powders. Did you know that? They're made with things like cornstarch, arrowroot, other roots that are ground, that are dried and ground to make powder. My powder that I use is an arrowroot powder. It's organic. I love it. It keeps me warm. It's amazing. But she didn't know that until right this day. So now that ladies are learning that our tampons and pads or bleach and pesticides. Also, there are alternatives to these. Do you know what the alternatives are? Organic. Yeah, what are they called? Brands. You know any brands? Organic. Organics. Yeah, there's one called organics, right? Do you know? I thought I said it. I don't know if you know brands. <laughs> that's the right answer. They do exist, right? So they do exist. You guys are aware that organic tampons and pads exist, right? They don't cost any more. And the regular ones. There's also big cups. Thank you. There are cups like your lunettes and other cups. Like other, I don't. The, okay. If you guys want to do that, that's fine. The mess, the thing, I, I try. I'm not really good at it. But a lot of girls use it, and they're a lot better at it than I am. There are cups that you can use. Um, and organic brands. There's a brand called Organics. There's a brand called Lola. There is, uh, look it up, there's tons of organic alternatives for your fem care that you're not being taught about. They don't cost any more. Just like good natural food doesn't cost any more. You've been lied to, and the thing is only certain people are lied to. People of color are lied to. People in poor neighborhoods are lied to are being told that they can't afford what everybody else is buying. That you can't afford healthy food. That you can't afford healthy products. Your deodorant is going to give you breast cancer. Did you know that? That includes men. Men get breast cancer too. I'm sorry, I'm like a bearer of bad news today. <coughs> your deodorant is going to kill you too. Does that bother you? Do you know there are natural alternatives that work? Huh? Lemon? Lemon does work. Also, those uh, natural powders I talked about, like the arrowroot, 
that works for dryness. Um, a little sprinkle of that. Lemon works. Um, coconut oil also works, so make sure of that. Lemon oil, coconut, lemon juice, coconut oil, a little baking soda. Um, that works. You can make your own paste at home. I like Schmitz. Schmitz is one of my favorite deodorants ever. Um, you can get these things, by the way, like at Marshalls for just a few dollars. Cheaper than if you could at CVS or online or whatever. Um, that's also available. There are alternatives that you should be looking into. Again, the more you look into it, the more you can tell somebody else to look into it, you can save your own moms, sisters, girlfriends, aunties, fathers, other people's lives, just by becoming more aware of what your alternatives are. You had something I forgot. I will say, what color is the powder that you use? White. It's white, but yeah. it's naturally white. Yeah. Yeah, because in our room, we just like most rooms, like when you cut them open, they're either like light yellow or like this. This room, you cut them is like a white. And also, it's cornstarch. And cornstarch is naturally white also, right? Um, and it's like other powders in there, and it's just naturally white. Not bleached, everything is organic. There are companies that I like, like the Honest Company, um, for certain things. Um, I, I, use, I actually make a lot of things at home. A lot of my things, like my lip balm, and stuff, I'll make some of that stuff at home too. Uh, I like to make something like that though. Um, scrubs and such, and my own dealer paste sometimes when I run, run out of my shipments, so I always make it at home. Uh, lemon really does work, go with a lemon, hit them with this, air it out, we're good. Walk out the door, it'll be fine. <laughs> you guys are laughing, that shit works. It works. Yes. Yeah, Schmitz I like, and they have Schmitz. Schmitz I like because, some, see, and then there's this myth that natural deodorants keep you wet. Like I'm wearing one right now, not wet at all. Um, my son, as you guys know, like boys really steak. <laughs> That's not a secret, you guys, everybody, nobody's gonna admit it, you guys kinda, especially if you guys are growing up and your hormones are kinda weird, like, boys have a smell. Uh, you guys grow out of it after a while. Yeah, he's like, that's not me, that's those guys, I don't stink. Um, and so sometimes natural deodorants, men are afraid to use natural deodorants, because you guys like, you play ball, you do this, you do that, the more active men, you guys work out, they do work. Schmitz is one that I found works. When my son was growing up, he, and still is at 21, he still, you know, he's a boy, so he has like the smell that boys have. Especially after like, a good basketball game or something, he comes in and is like, oh, yeah, this is terrible. But the deodorant really works. Like, Schmitz is a really good brand that I like for both men and women. I see two hands. Yes. Uh, I want to know like, if you have a comment on this because about like, That's a really good thing. So listen, your dad is right to an extent, okay? A lot of the stink that you have is your body getting rid of toxins. The more toxins you have, the more you're gonna stink. Deodorants are toxic. So it's one of those things where you're always chasing your tail. You're using a toxic deodorant. Uh, antiperspirants stop you from sweating, which is not good for your sweat glands. By the time that wears off, you've got so many toxins piled up underneath that by the time you get to wash off some of that stuff, it, it, they come pouring out. You're like, oh my God, I stink. I need more deodorant. So you keep this vicious cycle going because you're never letting your underarms breathe and you're never letting them detox naturally, right? And then two, because of that, this is another reason why we want to eat healthier, because all the chemicals and all the things you're putting in your body, they have to come out somewhere, right? We know some of the obvious places where they come out, but also they come through your pores. It's like this, you know when you drink, right? Yeah, you, you're like, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Especially like tequila, something heavy. You, and you say like, well, it's coming out of my pores. You took, you're taking a shower, you brush your teeth, you gargle, like you, you did all the things. You have a cologne, the whole thing. And then you hit the sun and you start sweating, and that tequila starts coming through your pores, right? And everyone knows you were drinking. It could have been two days ago, but here it is again the tequila. It's the same way with your food. It's the same way with all the things you put into your body, it's gonna come through your pores. So a lot of that stink is the stuff you're putting in. 
So your dad is partly right on that because the deodorant creates the toxins and it's a vicious cycle. You want to detox your armpits before you start using your natural deodorant. Uh, I like to use clay. So you can get a, any kind of clay mask or I like to use dry clay, like a bentonite clay. It comes in a little thing called uh, Indian, healing, uh, Indian healing clay or any kind of clay mask. Um, put it under your armpits, let it dry. Detox, detox. Use a little lemon. If you're not allergic to um, sodium bicarbonate, which is uh, baking soda, put that under there just to keep you, you know, okay for a second. You're gonna detox your armpits for a while. Don't be afraid to sweat when it is natural. And once you finish detoxing and you start cleaning out your body and drinking a lot of water and doing all the things you're supposed to do, you're not gonna have the same kind of sweat and your sweat's not gonna stay. I missed some questions along the way. There were some hands that I missed. I was going to say, um, I switched to natural deodorant last summer, and at first I felt like it wasn't working. I even thought that it was making it worse, but it was like my kids like detoxing, and then now I don't even need to wear it. Ta-da! <laughs> See your thing? Yeah, but some days like, you totally skip it. Your body doesn't react the same way because you don't have those toxins built up. You're going to be under your arms. Is there something else that I missed? Anybody else? Yes. So do those uh, organic deodorants still have toxins, or just in like this? Yeah, it's organic. If it's a natural organic deodorant, there aren't going to be any toxins in there, and that's the most important thing. Here's the thing about toxins, you guys. We're not going to be able to get rid of all of them. They're in our air. They're everywhere. But just control as much as you can. You know, you can control the deodorant that you use. You can control the kind of um, stuff you wash your clothes in. Tide, killer. Downy killer, and then that's on your body. That's in your sheets, right? And then you lay your head on there, you got breakouts, you don't know why. Toxins. You're in your you're in your covers, you're sweating, it's hot, right? You get sweaty because it's hot when they when they sleep. Your your pores are open, all that tie, all that downy, all that all, all those all those things are going inside your body. 65% of everything your skin touches goes into your bloodstream, you guys. 65%. That's a lot. Some of you guys want to take your clothes off right now, and you're so disgusted. But this is how serious it is. There are non-toxic um, non detergents. There is a website. Um, uh, 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 cosmetic Database, which is owned by EWG.org. So EWG.org is one website. They also have cos their cosmetic database. Look it up online. You can literally look up almost any products you have, including girls. Your, your makeup, by the way, killing you. It's cool. You can look up your makeups, your shampoos, your conditioners, your everything, and it gives them a rating as to how toxic they are. Look up some of the stuff that you're using on a daily basis, that your mom is using, that your dad is using, that your sisters are using, and see how toxic they are. And find some alternatives for yourself. I want you to do this. Because I want you to be able to share this with other people, especially those of you who are going into fields where you are in control of people's health. Just because it is a Western medicine facility doesn't mean you can't say to somebody here, the doctor has prescribed this for you. Um, also, um, I recommend that you go and just look up some stuff. Just look up something. If you're not the doctor, I get that. You can't prescribe people anything, but isn't it nice to share the information? Look up Mockaroo, look up this, look up that. Do a little research. And then you guys have to use your computers for more than homework.